This game is currently in development. Some functionality or aspects of the game may not be working as intended. Customer support is also unavailable at this time. Thank you for your cooperation. So just before we get going, I think I'm going to stream this when it comes out. And if I do, it'll be going straight into the low effort section of my channel. But Resident Evil 4 that came out in 2005 is my favorite game of all time. It just is. I am very, very nervous about what they've done here. I have not seen much up until the last couple of days about this game. I saw the initial reveal, and since then I have been intentionally avoiding things. I have not seen any of the trailers, I have not seen the combat demo. I have unfortunately had a few things confirmed to me, like suplexes are in, Ashley's in, the rain is in, <laughs> the rain's been getting a lot of attention over the last couple of days. So I figure now is a good time to have a look at the demo. I'm using headphones or earphones. I think I'll prefer frame rates for this. All right, let's take a look. I'll fix it in post. Ooh, preset for motion sickness. Interesting. Uh, I do not consent. I do not consent to anything of my playing or whatever being sent over the internet. The chainsaw demo. If I was to guess, I think that this is the opening stand at the village. But I don't know. I haven't seen footage of this and I haven't played it. Alright, all we can do is main story. Or we can spend money. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The intro. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training. Punishing missions nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. Some nice reuse of the footage from the RE2 remake. That is the intro of the game. And there's some interesting foreshadowing there. It's been six years since Leon S. Kennedy survived the Raccoon City incident, an unprecedented biological catastrophe caused by the Umbrella Corporation. Having distinguished himself as a US special agent, I can barely read, he is tasked with locating the president's missing daughter. The search has brought him to an isolated village in Sp <coughs> Europe, where intel suggests the kidnapped girl was last sighted. Even Leon's past trauma could not prepare him for the nightmare. The insanity he would find there. Okay, so maybe we're not starting right at the start. So we see the... see what's taking so long? What's taking so long is that I'm just screwing around here. Um, yes, yeah, so the intro FMV is there, but the one that plays afterwards is presumably nice. Oh, okay, so immediate thought is maybe the policeman, the local police hopped out, went into the village there to look, and Leon stay behind. They're clearly not concerned about parking tickets this time. Yeah, in case I didn't say it before, RE4 is one of my favourite games of all time, if not my favourite game of all time. I'm very nervous about what they've potentially done to this. If it's like RE2 great. If it's like RE3, uh, not so great. Alright, so sticks moving around. The touchpad is currently doing nothing. 
So I just need to click that on my monitor before things go wrong. L3 is a click and sprint, and there's some nice haptics in the controller. You can feel it wobbling as Leon's putting his feet down. Okay, R1 is a sort of sense of the camera on wherever Leon's pointing, which is the strangest place for it. Circle is a crouch. And that How looks like you've gone. That looks like it's about it. <sighs> no comments. I do like the fact that right off the bat there's less brown. Is this the first house? If so, it's in a very, very different position slash environment because the first house in the original game, you could walk along this way. No, nothing. All right. Game just sort of saved. Those textures look a bit muddy, but whatever, it's all good. Anyone home? I think we'll hold off walking in that direction for now. The lighting in here, though, is lovely. Wow. I mean, I know it's not ray traced, but it looks brilliant regardless. Crude charm. Judgment is nigh. Is that Spanish? I think it's Spanish. Or maybe, you know, it's just European. All right, we know it's coming. No, okay. Once again, I can't read that. I don't read European. James not even being subtle about it anymore. Damn, Leon, nice kick. This is not good. Indeed, it is not good. All right. So, L1 is ready knife, and it looks like the knife might have durability on it now, which is 
I'll keep my thoughts on that for now. Uh, R2, L2, sorry, is aim gun. I imagine R2 is fire. I'm not going to test it out just yet. Mind you, R2 does that, so, you know. Oh, okay, so if I don't have anything else, Leon will sort of do a couple of swipes if I use R2 like that. Right, so pushing square causes Leon to take his handgun out. I can switch back to the knife by using the uh, L1 shoulder. I'll get my shoulders right one day, I swear. Triangle is the attaché case, because of course it is. The map. If you become a lost, you can check your current position and objectives on the map. If you have a treasure map, you will also be able to see the locations of hidden valuables. We're in a place called the Hunter's Lodge. Parts were carefully chosen and machined to improve performance. It has been Leon's go-to since receiving it during his time at the RPD. I don't believe that for a second. The one that Marvin gave us is long broken and or lodged in some zombie's skull. It is long gone. Are these spoilers? Shit, look how many materials we've got down the bottom there. Two knives, herbs. There's no blue herbs there. Overview. Retrieve the kidnapped individual. Okay, so when the full game comes out, I'm going to have to refer to Ashley Graham as kidnapped individual every single time. No exceptions. Subject, Ashley Graham, age 20, daughter of US President. University students. See photo for physical appearance. Contact was suddenly lost with the subject as she made her way home from campus. Soon after, she, along with her ex-military bodyguards, boyfriends, whatever, were reported missing. Upon further investigation, it was determined that she was kidnapped by an organized group and a team was convened. Our intelligence department has confirmed several sightings of the subject in a remote village located in a mountainous region of Spain <coughs> Europe. One agent was specifically chosen for the task. We have confirmed that the perpetrators received help from an insider. To prevent leaks, this operation will be kept strictly confidential. Crowds are right. Local law enforcement have been brought on board and are providing assistance. Village and comms. I take it we have Hunnigan. Oh god. The intestines are back from RE2, boys. Hunter's Lodge key. Does that actually go? No, it doesn't. It goes in here. The key to the basements. National Police Corps. Police Corps? Police Corps. Mario Fernandez Castano. Police officer. I don't think they had names in the original, or if they did, uh, it was never made explicit. And that is a file. All right. I wish I could read this. I really do. Thinking some Silence of the Lambs type shit here. Hey. 
I don't think he's waking up, Leon. I read you. What's your situation? We now need to escape, and now the game's telling us how to shoot. I actually kind of appreciate the restraints shown here. I mean, it's bad, but it's not bad, bad, but it looks very, very reali realistic as a result. fast. We've lost your ability on the knife. Oh wow. Such a poor shot at this. this just keeps getting worse. Okay, adaptive difficulty. Please drop me some bullets, please. Alright, the aiming is going to take a little while to get used to. There's some very unhappy people around here. Time to go, Leon. Uh, bullets? No, that's a book. Not bullets, it's a book. Good, Hunnigan. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. <laughs> Gotta go. Talk later. I'll let myself out. It begins. We are heading for the lake. Let's take a look around here. And so the hardy is telling me that I've lost about one third of my health. I can use that on its own by the looks, but I'm going to hold off. shinies on the ceiling or anything like that? No? Fine. I have to do it. Do you still drop money? Of course you do. We can kick the barrel or we can open it with our knife like that. Okay, 12 bullets. Red Eagle, that's the same as the original. 
Uh, squares reload, right? new. Imagine we need to combine that with something, I don't know what that is, for handgun ammo and shotgun shells. Typewriters, which we can't use because this is a demo. I wonder if increments will be involved. Lord Sadler, who's that? Never heard of him. That's very reminiscent of an old puzzle we found at the farm back in the original game. Damn it, didn't see him. Didn't see the crows. It's alright, it's not that dog. Got any bear traps camouflaged into the ground? They keep talking about Lord Sadler. Who is Lord Sadler? Like a mechanic or something? So I hear them, but I don't see them. Okay, they see me. Two of them. Jesus! Okay, that still works. That's good. Oh. What can I do there? R2. Okay, got it. So we can do a melee attack to put him down with X. Like that. And then we can stab him with our knife. I'm not sure if that takes away um, durability off the knife though. I imagine it does. Nothing in the back of that truck. The universal danger sign. There we go. I hear you there, buddy. There you go. Yeda means shit. That much I do know. Alright, we have our flash grenades, which hopefully are very good against the uh, level 2 pluggers. Red herbs, we'll try combining in a sec. Item crafting. Certain materials such as resources, gunpowder, and knives can be used to craft different items. The types of items that you can craft can be increased by obtaining new crafting recipes. You can restore health using herbs or a first aid spray. The effects of herbs can be enhanced by combining them with other herbs. Red herbs increase the amounts of health recovered, while yellow herbs increase your maximum health. That has not changed. Setting weapon short. Oh. That looks like it's the interface straight out, straight out of uh, The Last of Us. And you could never switch weapons like this in the original. You always had to come back into the attaché case. 
Damn, okay. That's a huge change. Uh, can I just drop them like this? Yes, I can. Three times as much health, a single green herb. I thought green and red was always full. Am I losing my mind there? Green and red was always a full heal. Both in RE4 and every other Resident Evil game. Charming. I called it. I mean, it wasn't hard to call, but it looks like this is the opening siege. I mean, who's the real monster here? Leon for watching it? The people for burning him alive? Or me? Damn, you actually see him get burnt alive. Holy shit. Alright, that combined with everything we've seen so far pretty much justifies its R racing in this part of the world. Ooh, there's a sort of uh, screen door effect going on there. It's fine. I'm nitpicking. Uh, simple lock, perhaps? Find out shortly, I guess. Lots of money, but what I would dearly love right now is a lot more bullets and or a shotgun. Alright, so can I do this? Oh, I can. Immediate thought is they took that out of the Evil Within. Assuming it wasn't part of Resident Evil 6. And, uh, spoiler alert, I don't want to remember anything about Resident Evil 6. That's a path which leads up to the farm. Ah, fuck. Here we go. Indeed. Fight them off. Ah, uh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Of course it is! Damn. Okay, in trouble. In trouble already. Barely started. Alright, so the house with the FMV was this one over here. Do we still get the FMV? Yes, we do. Didn't see something that we could push against the door. Can push this? Yes. Looks like they've crashed. Oh god. I've not finished exploring here. Can you just hold on a sec, please? Resources. Very descriptive. 
Right. Give me my shotgun. Oh, nice. Indeed. Ah, fuck. And two with the chainsaw is up here, which means I am most likely dead in just a moment. We will get to see the chainsaw kill. Um, what do I do? Equip shotgun and then shoot forward and then run. Go, Leon. Oh, God. Right, can I get out here? Yes, I can. Fuck, they're everywhere. Right, where's my grenade? Holy shit, how many? How m Wow. It's so much more aggressive. They are so much more aggressive than the original. Holy shit. That's a dead end, but I know there's resources in there, according to the original. Oh, no. There's also people in here. What the fuck? And another hand grenade. We can bust out of here. That's it. Huh? La campana. Al que le defenda. Él nos invoca. Say the line, Leon. Say the line. This demo is officially a failure unless you say the line. Hell, this game is a failure unless you say the line. Leon? Where's everyone going? Bingo? He said the line! He said the line! This remake is in safe hands. I assume that's it. And that's gotta be it, surely. Yep. Money acquired, 4,550 PCAs, which is good, apparently. I killed 20 enemies, I had to use a lot of healing, and that last part was rough. And, as was asked earlier, it is available in two weeks' time. Alright, I want to play that again, because I think I owe it to everyone watching this to do two things. Firstly, we have to die via chainsaw, and secondly, we have to kill the chainsaw dude. Extreme difficulty mad chainsaw mode incoming. Selecting decline challenge will begin the game in standard difficulty. Note, mad chainsaw mode will be applied only to this single playthrough. You must wait until mad chainsaw mode is triggered again for subsequent attempts. This mode is specific to the demo and is not included in the original game. That is honestly very cool. I mean, I say that now, but it's September probably going to end awfully. Alright. I'll just rush through this and uh, see if we can die to a chainsaw or two. Or six. 
Uh, where are we going? No, we're not getting through there. Crouched or not, we are not getting through there. How far could he have gone? Immediate thoughts are that it's different to the original, but I'm not mad by anything that I've seen here. I like what's been shown off. And Leon said the line, so all is well. But that was really the critical thing that I came here for, you know? The bingo line. I mean, Capcom did do a very few specific things for the um, for the RE7 demo back in the day, when people were speculating about what things meant, and Capcom actually inserted a lot of stuff into the final updates, which was really cool. But them inserting whatever mode this is, I mean, it might just be rubbish, I don't know, but I assume it's something. What was that? Do you have a chain? Ah! Uh! Okay, I have problems. Holy shit. Uh, we're not getting out of this. We're not getting out of this. No chance. That's a death. What did he even do? And we don't get the option to restart. I do wonder if that's because we played in mad chainsaw mode or what, but... Oof. September. Alright, let's just screw around with this for a bit. Okay, I just had a little bit of an audio glitch there. I'm not sure if that was my El Gasso or the demo. I think it was the demo. Because the audio is still in sync. Anyone home? So to skip things, I actually have to push X and then hold down triangle. If I push other buttons, that prompt does not come up. Yeah, like now I'm, now I'm mashing square, never mind. It does come up, I just need to be more patient. Damn, dude! This just keeps getting worse. Right, so I assume I can. Catch up to them and they can hurt me, or vice versa. I didn't see if that took durability off the knife. Ah, shit. Wasn't ready for you. Anyone else?
Uh, missed green herb wherever, wherever that was, but we'll be fine. Yeah, that's so reminiscent of that uh, puzzle at the farm where if you shoot it down, it falls into the water. But if you shoot the stick first, the ball gets covered and the thing that you recover uh, is worth a lot more. I can't even see this dude. There we go. Well hidden. Well, so I'm struggling to figure out how quickly this uh, thing tightens. I'm standing still, then move the right stick, it's pretty quick. And if I move around, and then move the right stick around, it's taking forever. If I let it tighten and then move the stick. Yeah, okay, I see. So it's really asking me to plant my feet. Wait a while. It's asking me to plant my feet, aim, wait, and then I can aim with impunity. Food for the sparrow. Yes, yeah, so the entire time I was making gentle adjustments with my right stick and it was refusing to lock on. That's interesting. So the original was very much a uh, you couldn't aim and move at the same time. You had to actually stop and aim. And this is asking for the same thing. It's asking you to stop, aim, wait, and then shoot. That's going to take me a little while to get used to, I think. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot about you. Oh, I forgot about you. Can I fight you off with my knife? I can. Alright, fine, let's heal. God, this head coming down is disgusting. That's squelch. Alright. No fucking around, let's just go for the shotgun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go for the shotgun and then immediately die. Skip that if I can. Right, we can't barricade the place, so let's just grab this. Up we go. Nice. Nicely on, very nice. Okay, we have shotgun shells. They're going to re-erect that ladder, I'm sure. I do wonder if that's the only animation we can get for the chainsaw. It's not a decapitation, but slamming it into the middle of the chest and going upwards is... Oh. That's good enough. 
Oh wow, we can put Ashley up there. And that's a bit of a spoiler. Bit of a mechanics spoiler. Let me take this lady out, head back inside there, and we'll see if we can kill the chainsaw dude. Everyone's moving so much faster in this version of the game. Uh, come here you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hold still. Come here. Lay an egg for me. Lay a fucking egg for me. See, Hunnigan, this is what we're doing in our off time, chasing chicks. <laughs> that was such a cool move, and then he died. The way it jumped over that corpse there is really interesting, actually. Alright, let's do this. The UI for weapons is really interesting, and I think that's a great change. They've ripped that straight out of The Last of Us. And honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, there's no time to barricade that thing, really. Oh, Leon. Never change. Only three shotgun shells at a time. That's uh, not good. So make sure that I don't put that ladder up behind me. Hey, you. Oh, we can take him down with a melee. Can I stab him? No, I can't stab him. Also, I don't have quick turn. Oh, shit. I'm certainly feeling it. Hurry the fuck up, Leon! Oh shit. That's dead. Alright. Where's my grenade? Is it down? I think it's down. 10,000... No, 3,000. Close enough. I'm running off by a factor of about 3.3. Is that ladder back up? Yes. No, no more it's not. Question is, can I hold out? Fuck, there's so many of them. Uh, let's combine that and that and heal. Can I equip it from here? I can. Oh, that's really cool. That's super cool. Also, I'm almost out of ammo. I am out of ammo. And the knife is broken. A knife with a broken blade. Looks like it can be repaired. God damn. That was a knife that Marvin gave to us. <laughs> so upsetting. Anyway, uh, let's get out of here. Let's see you climb this. Oh, Leon. Oh. Did that chicken just knock me down? I mean, it's understandable given that I killed its mate over here, but yeah, no. Um, what do I do? Just run in circles until this ends? Same to you, lady. I went in here. We met this lady lying down. Just minding her own business. I have no way of... Okay, I have to use X to open them. I have a grenade. That's about it. Oh, the ladder here. Yeah, we've got to climb this. Got to climb this.
well played game. Very well played. There's no hiding up there. We can't hide up in the tower. Ah, uh, we're gonna find ammo. Maybe in the house to the left? No, not that way. That's a dead end. This music though. Can't barricade this place. Of course not. That's locked. That sort of looks like a small key lock rather than a actual key, if that makes any sense. Oh, the way they duck there. There you go. There we go. And there is our bell, which signifies an entity attack. Can I get any more money? No, too late. I think that will do it. I think I've seen enough. Enemies killed 24, 8,700, which is still good. I wonder what would qualify as excellent, perhaps. No, thank you, Capcom, for remaking this. Uh, I'm definitely interested in, in the full game. It comes out in two weeks' time. I'll definitely stream it, I think. And I'll put it up in the low effort section. I'm not going to make it fancy or anything like that. But yeah, that is the Resident Evil 4 demo. It came out today. Well worth checking out if you have the time and or availability, so go check it out.